Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to thank you for having me here today. I'm going to be talking about how to get the return on relationships. Today, you're going to be learning about how to network. You're going to be learning what to do before, during, and after. You're going to be talking about how to be memorable. But before you do all that, like Angela said, you got to know what you're trying to accomplish. How are you going to get a return on relationships if you don't have a plan, like she said? Or what kind of result that you want? See, what I've learned in bringing in business, if I want to use networking as a form of bringing in business, I understand that there's three phases or three pillars to bringing in business. And you might want to write these down. Number one, there's a marketing plan. You need a networking plan. And number three, you need a selling plan. I share that with you because so often, people don't get that marketing is different than networking that's different than selling. Marketing is your visibility. Networking is your credibility and selling is your profitability. Let me say that again, be very clear on that. You have marketing is your visibility, that's getting out in the marketplace, advertising. There's networking, your credibility, and then there's selling your profitability. Can anybody take a guess what's the one thing you should never do at a networking event to ruin your relationships and your ROR? Sell. <laughs> what is the number one thing that most people go to networking events to do? Sell. Sell. So if there's something I can teach you today or leave you with today is don't go networking to sell. The challenge though is we're very passionate about what we do. How many people here are passionate about what you do? Raise your hands. Well, that comes across as selling sometimes. So you have to keep that in mind that there are three separate functions that tie together. If you're going to bring in business, you need to have a marketing plan, a networking plan, and a selling plan. If it was me and I was you, if I was going to network, I would want to build relationships. Now, there's different forms of credibility. A lot of times people think credibility is the number of letters uh, beyond your name or how many awards your company has won. And in networking, that has nothing to do with nothing. Literally. Don't even try to impress somebody. What I find to get my credibility when it comes to networking is I help other people get what they want. I then, in turn, get what I want. Does that make sense? Now, you've got to ask yourself what type of networker you're going to be. Okay? There are different types of networkers. And in, in, in preparing for this presentation, I already realized, you know, what kind of networker am I? What kind of networker is Peter and, and, and Angela and everybody else? And I got to thinking that we're all different networkers. Today, you're going to get the tools to be able to build your network, get a return on relationship, all based on what type of networker you're going to be. Let me give an example. Peter is an example. Peter and I were talking about this presentation today. And I said, what type of networker is Peter to me? Peter is. Shows up at events, he's always positive, I'm always positive. The two of us get together like two energizers bunnies and we just take off, okay? <laughs> you know, he, and he shared with me that he goes to networking events, he's there for visibility. He's there waiting for someone who needs his services, who needs document management. He wants to be there. He wants to be credible because he's not a you know, one-stop shop. Just show up, throw up, and leave. You'll see Peter a lot because he cares about people and he's always showing up to events to help other people. But... I would say Peter does it just for visibility in the hopes that hopefully a deal will come his way. At least that's what he shared with me. Now Mark, on the other hand, if you've ever around Mark, you, anybody would take a guess what kind of networker Mark is? He's a referral marketer. When you meet Mark, I've seen it time and time again, you meet him, he's going to try to get you a referral because that's the kind of person he is. He's going to say, hey, who do you want to meet? Next thing you know, he's going to meet somebody, introduce you to somebody who can help you get a referral. Because he's in the business of giving and getting referrals. That's what BNI is all about, a great organization. For me, on the other hand, I'm a little bit different. And I realized that I'm there as a connector. I go to meet to connect you with my clients, connect you with other referral sources, because hopefully, in the end, you'll help me get connected. In fact, when I moved to Richmond 15 years ago, I knew that if I started talking about myself, I had no credibility. So I decided for an entire year, being a member of the chamber, not to talk about what I did. Because again, you don't know me, I don't have credibility, I barely have visibility, so I will never get profitability without that formula. So I started helping other people get connected, and other people get connected, and other people get connected. And next thing you know, people were doing the same thing for me. Well then there's a fourth type of connector, or a networker, and that's a person who goes to sell. You know that person who comes up to you and says, here's three of my business cards, give them out to your friends. That's not going to work for you in the Chamber of Commerce, ever, ever, ever. So I don't know what kind of network you're going to be, but the way I get to return on relationships, I do three things and write these down. The first thing that I do is I ask people to have coffee. When I go to a networking event, I realized I didn't always do this because I was like Peter, I'd show up, hopefully something would come my way. Then I was like Mark, giving referrals, but I didn't know many people, so I went to connecting. 
but I never asked for anybody to have coffee with me. I was like, what? And the reason I figured that out is I was at a chamber event, Chesterfield Chamber event. We were at an open house, and Joe LaBelle with Dominion Payroll comes up to me and says, Jim, I would love to grab coffee with you. And the first thing goes to my mind, he's going to sell me. He goes, you're probably well-connected. People think that you don't need referrals, and you probably never get asked for coffee. I didn't want to make that assumption. And I'm like, right, he's right. I never get asked for coffee. So I like to have coffee with you. He's going to sell me, I know it. <laughs> Just being human, right? So we have coffee. We get together. He talks about me the whole time, how he can help me. What, who can I be, I can, he can introduce me to. And I felt compelled to want to help him back. But we were out of time. He goes, I got to go. And I said, Joe, can I ask you one question before you leave? He goes, yes. Who do you want to meet? What are your revenue goals? How can I help you? Well, he told me what those were, and I went on a, a, the path to helping him because he just took the time to help me. Lo and behold, I helped Joe out. Joe became the sales manager of his company. Next thing you know it, I'm now doing sales training for his sales team. All because he asked me for coffee. I went, aha, he helped me, I helped him. Years later, now I'm doing the sales training. What a concept. The second thing that I would do is in having coffee is I wouldn't talk about myself. I would talk about them. Now I sound, that sounds crazy for a lot of us because we're trying to pay our bills. We're trying to pay that mortgage. We want to get business. But I'm here to tell. One of the things I learned from Mark and BNI was uh, Ivan Meiser, the founder, said, networking is more about farming than is it about hunting. I'll say that again. Ivan Meiser is quoted as saying that networking is more about farming than about hunting. So if I show up to that coffee and I'm talking about me, I'm not farming. I'm hunting. But if I'm helping them and learning about them, then I'm farming. And then the third and final thing that I would do to get my return on relationships is I would go and help the person. I wouldn't go away and go, hey, that was great. I'm never going to talk to you again and leave. Or, hey, that was great. I have no intention of helping you. Hopefully you'll help me. Where I believe the philosophy is if you help other people get what they want, introductions, referrals, connections, you will get the same in return. Because remember, networking is more about farming than it's about hunting. That concludes my portion.